Hey, hey guys, welcome back to Bridge Constructor here with Doc. Last time we completed the Westlands. Oh yeah, we did good with that. And yeah, today we want to continue our journey to the central mainland. You guys like the game a lot? Good feedback. You were throwing likes down and enjoying it. So I'm happy. Yeah, these, these fun little games. These fun little games. So let's look what we have here okay we got limited building materials from all right let's keep on going here um i would say we toss in a road first thing okay then let's use our brain and our ingenuity hmm okay we have to create some struts down here just going straight will never cut it um okay basic geometry tells us making triangles is good because it divides the load a bit so now um whoop, we have a little leg whoop, okay here we go so if you look at it now that's a prime example here if you would have a straight strut here we could compare it we could compare it let's put a straight strut in here like right now obviously all the power li lies on this one structure because it goes straight down and here we divide it equally to each side with such a construct so i think that is a good way to start here and then i think we need to put some support beams into the sides like that to hold up our structure Oop. let's bring that back here if we do something like that Maybe that holds up. Let's test it out. Okay, let's re replicate that thing for the other side here. Um, hopefully our budget is enough. 8,400. Ah, yeah, it should be good enough. Like that. That looks quite promising to me, I would say. Okay. Um, it holds the empty test already let's get our trucks rolling okay let's see if not then we have to totally rethink and are screwed but oh well, look at that it looks very solid even yeah 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 good work yeah okay cool let's go to the next one here you can make the construction grid more detailed to build more precisely. Okay. Nice. Now we need more precise building or what? Okay, what do we have? We have... First of all, we can make a road here. Let's try to do that. Found out that it's sometimes good to start from two sides and then work your way to the middle. So you end up with something symmetrical. Well, okay, that that calls for working with with columns here like this, and then just go for a known shape. Those those things should be rock solid. In one of the in the first episode, I also attached some ropes to one of this anchor points, which was actually not necessary. Okay, let's see. I want to build something nice here. Will this blow our budget? Oh yeah, those cables are really expensive if you make them so long. But it looks cool. You know? Yeah, we are we blew our budget, we can't. Okay, let's remove that and let's remove that. How about that? Let's do a test. Stability test. Looks quite solid. You think it would hold hold the trucks? Tension on the middle section there. Ah, yeah, I, I think we got it. Alright, 16,800. There might be a more optimal solution for that. Hey, we got an achievement. Yeah! Okay, cool. Let's go to the next one. It's a 60 meter bridge, and we have a new build material. Yeah, new material, steel, offering a higher stability and longer individual pieces. Steel is more expensive than wood, obviously. Okay, let's put our road in. Oh, 
Okay, we have this and that. Okay, let's see. How long can we make him this long? Okay. You know what? We might go go for. Oh, we have wood too. Mm -hmm. Let me think. I think I want to have one of the road anchor points right in the middle here, actually, on top, on top of our construct, like this, and then. Oh wait. Don't want to use steel for that, I suppose. Wood. Okay. Yeah, we want to have an anchor point right here. Like that. Yeah. And then we connect. I think with a construction like that we could try to do something similar we did before. Okay, we have 25,000 so we have quite a budget here. So mm, we could basically try to do something like that. here this could I don't know if it has to be steel now that will probably blow our budget easy let's see how much was this thing let's make another one of these and see if we can afford it okay our already out of budget okay so maybe if we do something like that and now go wood be cheaper this ah we're too expensive right oh, aren't we yeah this one strut is missing okay <clears throat> mm, then now let, let me try something maybe we can do we can do the in-between thing is out of wood here you know those connect them with wood see if that works out that would save us up a little bit do something like that Let's there do a stability test. Looks quite sturdy so far. Let's see what the truck does to it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, we got this. This is a good bridge. Probably maybe the steel struts were not even needed there. Not quite uh -huh. sure, but who cares we did it. Awesome! Yeah! <laughs> so a lot of comments, uh, guys saying this game caused uh, quite a bunch of nostalgia for them. You know, bridge builder, and yeah, there's a lot of bridge building games. And a lot of people are playing those. Okay. <clears throat> I have a long haul. Let's see. I mean, that calls for a uh, standard side strut. go a bit higher with it maybe like that see if our budget is is enough how expensive are these cables mm. let's see then we have to go lower with our oh, with our struts here actually Wait, yeah, this would save some money because it's a, a shorter cable, probably. Okay. Let's just try this. We're within the budget. It's a bit asymmetrical now. Ooh. Bit wonky. Let's see what happens. That's not the perfect bridge. <laughs> but it doesn't matter. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Oh, oh, this middle section there. Please. Yes! Okay. We made it. We could have made our spruts way less high. Uh, a lot of money wasted in this round, but not a problem, right? I mean, easy to, to make it better if you wanted to. Okay, let's go to the next one. Mm. Okay, we have... We have a thing there already. We have steel beams, we have cables. Okay, when we have such a thing, we always want to do something like that, I feel. But 
good please what no wait ah it has to recognize it's a track all right oh what okay it plays out nice okay don't mind me okay i think we, we probably need to do a combination here so from one side obviously as we have the anchor point we should we should bring out cables like this this should stabilize this side and here we just make a little construct we have wood we want to go light maybe we want to go lightweight first you know let's bring a more detailed grid up and go do something like that So, and now we could either go under the bridge or over the bridge for stability. Let's do an underbridge construction. Basically something like that. Oop. Should that hold? Yeah, here we got a lot of tension. I think this, we'd rather make a steel beam. This we don't need on the other side. already looks mighty wonky we shall see this could be troublesome oh and here yeah yeah this this is gonna break i'm fairly certain this will break oh it's buckling yeah it buckled okay we need we need more uh, more strength down here whoops i removed the road unintentionally so we we need to go bit more still maybe let's see can we we can I don't think we can hold the ho whole thing with cables from there I I want to try under construction here that that seems to be uh, quite sensible oh that blew our budget oh whoa, whoa. okay let's let's try this then what what will happen yeah, that would collapse <clears throat> so we need a, a support beam over there maybe we make it steel let's look at it eh that looks already more sturdy this cable actually is not needed though right it doesn't do any difference if we take it out yeah okay let's see let's see if you got something here Yeah, that looks promising. Come on. Yes, we got this. Awesome. 1450. All right. Nice bridge. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let's do the next one. We have 50 meters gap. We have wood. We have... Okay, we have... Oh, that's interesting. We have some anchor points below. That's cool. Okay, let's try something then. Mm. Bring that out. Okay, yet yeah, that calls for a for a construction from below with let's see. Would that cut it already? That's that's really expensive, yeah. I mean, we could have two here and then go over like like it's so try this if you know what I mean Oop. that we don't need we might have to use stronger beams here but let's let's check her out let's check her out yeah there's a lot of power Whoa, 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 whoa! <laughs> ah! What happened? What gave? This? What gave? Maybe we can go all out steel frame. Okay. Looks a bit. Whoa! Why did we drop down? Just like. Oh, okay was me <laughs> wobble 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 oh why 
Does it wobble too much? Hmm. Where does it come off? Here, this thing. It was too much, it just was not sturdy enough, I guess. Okay, let's try something like that then. Let's see, will that fit? That's too expensive, that wouldn't work anyways. Okay, I think... I have to think about this one a bit and um, try something else. Be right back. So now we're gonna build it from inside out. I'm basically just gonna do such triangles, you know. And then we should have the biggest triangle in the middle, like this. And then do this. Now it's a super nice looking bridge. I mean, that should be... Um, pretty much maxed out the budget there too. Hmm. There seems to be quite some tension on the top beams there, of course. It's getting red. Ooh. Yes. Okay. That seemed to be a good strategy to kind of... You always think in triangles. When you build bridges, think triangles. So I was thinking, let's make the triangles first. That was not the worst idea. Good strategy we discovered here. Okay, let's see. We have an 80 meters gap. We have some steel and we have some cables. Okay. We had a, a similar situation where we used some kind of rectangular thing to hold. Yeah, we'll, we shall see. We shall see. Let's put our road in. That's one thing. Now we need to make sturdy beams that will be able to hold hold the tension and not fall over. I wonder let's let's trust try out a very simple thing you would think of. But That is normally in air that the cables will never be able to hold that, right? It will just fall over and fall down. We have no anchor point in the back, yeah. So that ain't working. We have no anchor point in the back. Get that idea. But maybe we can try to make some kind of a hanging bridge construction. This maybe that all looks pretty crazy to me. Yeah. And now we go like put little triangles on top to hold it all together. <laughs> I'm going all out crazy with this one. Huh? Nobody would ever build a bridge like that, I suppose. But who knows? Maybe some crazy designer. What are those weird little leg spikes I have in between? Like that. And then we do this. What happens now? Okay. We probably need to use steel beams up here. Let's see if that works out. <laughs> Let's go a bit crazy with this one. Okay. And now we use cables to, to attach the road to the whole thing. <laughs> oh man, I doubt this is a successful bridge construction, but you never know. Let's look at it. We're in the budget though. <coughs> Um, yeah. Oh boy. Wait, okay, those are those are getting too much. Let's let's put steel bars there. Is it in the budget still? Yeah. <laughs> All the pressure on those, it's never gonna hold up. Let's let's run the trucks anyways.
<laughs> go, go. Oh. All right. So, yeah. This construction definitely looks funny, but it's not a good one. I need to try to, to redo stuff and make it a bit more sturdy. Let me think about this one a bit. <laughs> Let's go below then. Okay, so basically we need a triangle. No, no, triangle. Triangle here, bigger triangle there, biggest triangle there. We do the same thing. Smaller triangle, bigger triangle, biggest triangle. Get a cable, pull it all across and see if it can hold up this bridge. <laughs> Lots of tension on this cable. I doubt. This will snap, it will snap, it will snap. It snapped! He's still going though. Hmm, so... One rope was not good enough. We need to get more ropes in there. More ropes and we need some anchor points for those ropes. We wanna have the rope going down below here and we want to divide divide some of the load let's see let's try to get a basic shape where we could hang up our cable with let's say here and there so we go from here to there with the cable and then there is tension between these elements let me see could we do it no that's will not reach I want to use don't want to use steel below here it will be really heavy mm. we want to have a little bow shape to it so maybe bring it out a little bit further do two of these and that should should do that now we basically have a support strut in on every element let's see what happens that's a lot of load it's a lot of load already that will never hold so we need to take some pressure off let's try to come in with more cables let me see maybe give a little bit of support here um, now though we have a lot of tension on this middle section those outer two are doubled now so mm, oh man this is getting this is getting really complicated whoops what just happened hello okay coming back ah okay wait that was erased let's put that here um, <laughs> okay let's see what the, what it does we've seemed to have taken a little bit of strain from that but there's still still some on can we do something it pulls out this way everything's on the single cable well the only points I can attach some would be basically this and maybe here I don't know <laughs> hmm you think this thing will hold I don't know looks like a bow that is ready to fire Ooh. Oh, the tension is real. Although... That doesn't even look too bad. No way. Oh! He made it! Does one car count? New achievement? Bye-bye. Oh, because one fell down and one went over? Ah... Uh. 
What happened now? Oh, that didn't count. Crap. Hmm. But I think the general idea with our construction here is not too bad. I need to change the angles a bit. I think we need to have more steep angles here so we have a little bit less tension below. Let me rework this thing real quick and we try this construct one more time. Alright, now I have longer struts here, longer beam, less load. Let's look if that idea kind of... I think it looks better. I think it looks better. The initial tension on the ropes is less because we have better angles here. Let's see. That, wow, that actually changed quite a lot to the behavior of it. Just one, you know, making him one block higher, so to speak, or one element higher. Wow. Saw that? Yeah. Financial genius. Alright. Cool. Let's do the next one. Hmm. Good stuff. Oh, this is the last one for this island. That one was tricky. I had to think about it quite a lot. <laughs> a few tries in between. But I think we found a good one there. I think I had one with an overconstruct that was also pretty decent, but was not really working. It also only carried one. Or not even carried one fully over. Okay, what is that now? What? Alright. That doesn't look too bad. We're gonna try the same technique. With anchor points. With a low rope. See if that already holds it. And that could do the trick already. Uh, let's see. Let's see. It would be a cheap solution there. The under cable thing. Ooh, ooh, why lag? What is these leg spikes all of a sudden in the game? We made it over. Okay, that was super cheap. <laughs> Sweet. Like a boss. 100% completion. Central mainland. Next up, the ridge. We got three more islands to go. Leave a like. I hope you enjoyed the last two one. Well, the last one was tricky. Why? Like last time in the Westlands, the last one was also so simple. Weird. Well, in any case, I hope you liked it. See you soon. Bye-bye, guys.